This song, for whatever reason, like really reminds me of um, my brother's music. It just has that like, that kind of jazzy funk tone to it. It's good. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Um, you might have noticed that there is a little ad content thing in the top corner. Um, I realize that this is my own company that we're going to be talking about today, but I still figure, you know, it's still, <laughs> it's still like, let me tell you about a business. So it's there for whatever that's worth. Um, welcome to the stream guys. Let's see if we can get David on here. If not, I've got a French press to push and I know that you all love that. So, um, I'm on, let me know when you're good and I'll add you in. A French press, yes. French presses are just so easy. They're so easy. <laughs> I love them. And um, I, I've started seeing like really tiny French presses around, which is very, or cafetiers, depending on where you live. I keep seeing really tiny ones. I think they're intended to be like, this is just one, a one person sized French press, right? For like one cup of coffee, but they're so, <laughs> they're just like this big. It's wild. So I need to get one. <laughs> I thought about getting a percolator. I now have, um, I didn't bring my AeroPress with me when I moved to England, so I don't have the AeroPress anymore, but we have French press. Um, I have a pour over and like a Chemex and, um, a mocha pot. I have a mocha pot now, which is actually very nice if you want like a, a latte type thing. It obviously doesn't make an espresso shot exactly, but it makes like very strong coffee. Um, it does the job. It does the job. If you're, you know, in lockdown or in quarantine, or you're just choosing to continue to be safe, despite not having lockdown or quarantine anywhere where you live, uh, it's a good option. If you're like, man, I could just really go for a lottie. It's a good option. Someone said I didn't tweet, which is a fact. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick here. Um, live talking about Dodger Coffee Co. Oh, I should probably just tag the company, huh? <laughs> live talking about Dodger Coffee. Um, new products and discussing the company as a whole. And then let's see if I can get a good coffee gif. There are so many. There are the classics, right? When you go to search for a coffee gif on Twitter, there are the classics. There's the Snow White underneath the giant thing of coffee with the coffee just pouring in her mouth. A classic. There's the, like, um, uh, the Shaun of the Dead. Everybody, like, cheersing with their coffee. Oh, yeah, the guy in the bathrobe pouring coffee all over his head. They're just classics is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Let's see. We should make our own gifts. We should just make our own gifts. We should make Dodger Coffee gifts and then throw them in here and just like, just sleeper agent the whole thing. Anyway, I'm going to use the guy in the bathroom. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. David is ready bring him on I brought my phone into space nice tweet thank you hello oh hey bud can you guys hear him okay I'm gonna grab his his image oh yes so that we can see him as well oh my god it's almost perfect is the last time that I used the display capture the last time that we streamed together? <laughs> Maybe. That's pretty wild. Here we go. I like Maybe your shirt. That's just it's very what happens cute. When you bring me on, <laughs> <laughs> just wiggling. Maybe. <laughs> All right, here we go. There he is. 
wearing a very cute shirt. No longer wiggling, but the wiggling was very good and you missed it. Oh, there it is. I can wiggle. <laughs> I can wiggle for the people. <laughs> But he say, hi, David. This is my lovely um, partner in crime and one of my best friends in the world. There Hello. he is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna push my I'm gonna push my French press. Cause I haven't done it yet. Ready, chat? Wait, oh, can I get it close to the microphone? Ready? That was a little too easy, and I'm worried I didn't put enough coffee in there. So I guess we're going to see. Ruh -roh. How are you doing, David? I'm good. Good. How are you? I'm good. It's been so long. It's it been, feels like it's, it's been, been forever, been, yeah. It's been, it like it's not long on like the calendar of our lives, yeah. but long in terms of, oh my God, what's happened? <laughs> Just so much has been happening. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. It already, when we were, you know, in lockdown slash quarantine to begin with, it already felt like, oh, time is blurring together and means nothing. Um, right. And yeah, now it's just like every week so much is going on that it's kind of exacerbating that feeling. <laughs> just like, I don't, sure. I don't recall when things happened because so much is happening constantly. So, well, the last time we talked, I was trying to think about this this morning as I got it. So I, was, I was getting ready. So the quarantine had already started, right? Right. But. But that was pre-mask quarantine. Yes, pre-mask quarantine. This so was back the when time, they were already like, the only reason to wear a mask is if you have it. Like that kind of <laughs> yeah. thing. Or yeah. it's just going to make you more sick because you're going to get coronavirus on your fingers and then put it in your face. Right, 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 right. Oh, <laughs> the mainstream media. Mm. Just, you know. <laughs> what, what did they come up with next? It was, oh, what, you know. Um, okay, so for anybody who has uh, never seen David before, um, oh, yeah. this is David. Again, he's uh, one of my best friends in the world. He is um, the owner, runner of Akira Coffee, which is uh, a lovely small business that is the umbrella company that has Dodger Coffee Co. as well as um, my favorite coffee, <clears throat> the Smosh Coffee line. And yeah. um, now Top of the Morning Coffee with Jack Septicai, uh, yep. Carlin Brothers Coffee. Yep. We so, got all of them back there. Hey, look at that. Lined up. Except, <laughs> except my Top of the Morning is, I'm drinking that right now. So it's not up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's lovely. We met um, through Maker. Um, he and I were both at Maker together. He's the one who gave me the job that moved me out to Los Angeles. And um, we became fast close friends and uh he has run a variety of businesses since a teenager so this is like basically in his bloodstream at this point um true <laughs> but uh yeah it's it's been awesome to like go on this adventure with him and so whenever we do a dodger coffee stream he's always on there with me any questions that i can't answer he can answer easily um, and it's also just a great excuse for us to like hang out. So, <laughs> it's, yeah. like, That's we need David to be is. social in our <laughs> friendship. <laughs> I know. How do we do that? Oh, build a company where we have to occasionally stream things, <laughs> and then we'll get to hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> You're frozen right now, but I think it should fix itself. Fingers crossed. Aw, I hope it does. It's okay. You look really intense. I'm so intense, as you know. He is Aaron's husband. Another best friend of mine. Um... Yeah, for some reason, you're still... Hold on. Can you um, refresh your camera? Sure. Turn off camera. Turn on camera. There we go. Fixed. And I'm back. All right. It was on my side. That's sad. <laughs> I'm just making one more thing. Yeah, go for it. Take your time. But if you want me, I can answer questions too. I can so multitask like that. 
<laughs> Can you? I think so. <laughs> There's <laughs> I'm missing one photo that I need. For like a product photo? So, so we're gonna use a placeholder, yeah. Okay. No, do and I know it exists. Do you want me to take a picture? <laughs> You can. And then just message it to you? You can if you want. I have backups. Okay. It's totally up but to you. If, no, if you, no, let's do it that way. Okay. It would be more fun. <laughs> we'll do it on stream. And we'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll post it. It'll, it'll be good. Yeah. Everyone who's Real... now watching will be in on why the one photo of the one thing <laughs> It's just me way. going. <laughs> <laughs> And then Amazing. we're going to, like, realize that all all products that have you in them sell much better. And, <laughs> and then, then I can just I can just them. take photos with everything going. And it'll it'll be great. It'll all work out. Okay, you take that photo. I'll answer the question of this. They're, they're asking about this castle in the background. Oh. <laughs> have I given you a tour of this thing before, Brooke? I don't think so. But I did see somebody be like, did you build that castle? And I realized there was a castle behind. Okay, all right. So here we go. So, okay. I, I had this given to me like two years ago for Christmas. It's like the Christmas oh, present it's the I Disney wanted. Disney castle. I see. Yeah. But it's got like all kinds of. Hold on. I want to. Like, okay. Oh, this is going to be really hard because I can't look at the screen. <laughs> so you're just going to have to like live with whatever I'm pointing at. So yeah, it has Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> yep. And then um, it's got like all these little hidden things in it. So like there's Tink. You guys see Tink? Cute. And then, and then, okay, so it's got, that's supposed to be for the Princess Frog down there. And then it has like all these other scenes and things in them. Like, I don't know if you can see in there, but that's from Brave. Like the little bow and arrow. There's a bow and arrow set. Uh, and then, okay, back here. Let's see. Oh, I'm not going to remember them all. We've got the clock from, I don't remember which clock it is. We've got Aladdin over here. We've got Donald and Daisy, obviously. This is from Cinderella. It's got like the pumpkin. Uh, this is from Beauty and the Beast with the like the rose. This is from, um, oh God, the one with Mickey where he sings or does magic. Fantasia. That is... Uh, I'm going to guess Sleeping Beauty because of pink, maybe. And then random items Ugh. from... Oh, my gosh. And a baby. <gasps> a baby. Hello. <laughs> I was like, I'm hearing some other noise. Hello. Hi, cutie papooty. That's Elliot. Hi, Elliot. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, come here. He's so we cute. He's show so him. big. <laughs> he is. He's getting huge. Okay. Look at him. Oh, yeah. honey. He sees, like, himself in the background. Yeah. Clark, I think, loves coming in here because she just sees herself real big on the screen. <laughs> it's like... Right. Right. No specific, like, okay. You want to help me finish? Okay, now, look. We have to show them this really cool part. Okay. So, see right here? I hope that's showing. It looks like it's just, oh, part of the pillars. But guess what? Guess what? <gasps> Whoa. 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 What's in there? Oh, it's Cinderella's slipper. Secret. It's a secret. Yeah. So that's the castle. And I love it. Okay, I've sent you there two pictures. <laughs> okay. Let's put you back up here. Hi, button. Oh, okay. There's the castle. Wow. So cool. <laughs> and there's Elliot. And there's the Elliot. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. So basically for anybody who doesn't know, I'm sure that it's, it's become obvious now, but I did say that it had been a while before we did a stream where we just talked about the coffee company in general. Um, we still have people coming into stream all the time and on Twitter all the time being like, wait, you have a real coffee? Like, it's not a joke. Like, it's a real coffee company. <laughs> hi, Erin. I love you. Oh, she says, hi. I love you. Here you go. <laughs> hi, I love you. Yay. <laughs> oh, there I am. Wait, where? where? Hi. There you are. I love the you. Hi. 
hi. <laughs> Kaylee, you want to come say hi? <gasps> no. She just woke okay, up. Okay, so that's fair. Little... I get it. She's hiding. She's hiding behind the chair. Oh, sweetheart. It's fine. <laughs> Do you want to come say hi? <laughs> okay. Well, Understandable. Have a good stream. Thank you. Love you. Love you. We're so professional over here. This is the vibe. This is the whole yeah. vibe, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Um. Yeah, so uh, we started Dodger Coffee Co. We wanted um, everything to be ethically sourced in one way or another. Um, we both had an interest in uh, giving back eventually and like figuring out ways to give back to the community and be part of that, um, which we have been able to do, which is amazing. And um, David is more like hands-on with that. So I'll let him talk about that in specifics. But um, yeah, we have our regular coffee, which is uh, designed to taste like a like really good diner coffee. Um, any of you who go to American diners fairly often, you know the coffee that I'm talking about, the like really weird burnt coffee that you get at a diner. But if you go to diners all the time, it's just, it has this like perfectly nostalgic feeling and you love it for some reason, right? So when we were talking about what type of coffee we wanted to aim for, and unless, it, in case it hasn't been clarified, all of the different coffee lines are different roasts, different beans, yeah. different roasts. Um, so Jack's coffee is totally different from my coffee is totally different from Carlin bros coffee, etc. Um, so yeah, I said that I wanted our coffee to be a really good version of diner coffee. I wanted it to remind you of that flavor profile while being, um, like a really good high end coffee and they absolutely nailed it, which was amazing. So that's what, that's what our roast is. That's what you get when you get our beans. You can get them as whole bean or um, ground. We recommend getting them whole and grinding them yourself. Um, it'll just produce a better coffee. Uh, but we also offer a cold brew, which is the exact same roast, just cold brewed over 16 hours, right? Yep. And the cold brew is delicious. It's also easier on your tummy if you're somebody who um, tends to be kind of sensitive to coffee. Cold brew can is stronger overall uh but it it can be better for sensitive tummies so that's nice we yep. have tea now we um have honey all kinds of great stuff and the company has just continued to grow and have new things in it which is awesome and uh yeah we're we're very happy and we couldn't have gotten as far as we have or um and david couldn't have like created Akira and really like branched us out into something a lot bigger overall without all of the support from you guys. So, um, yeah, for sure. The, like you're all incredible. Thank you for being so supportive and interested and wanting to know about all of this stuff as, as we've been changing and growing, it's meant the world to us. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I think the only thing I'd add is like, we we're very careful about how we, source the beans too mm -hmm. um they're all high grade specialty grade um coffee beans and they all come from ethical sources so like we spend time reading like actually like the farmer's profile and is it a single family farm is it a co-op um there are no corporate owned farms your camera's most frozen the time, again i'm yeah, sorry that. that's okay most of the time it's um Oop. there we go there we go. Most of the time, it's um, it's things like organic. It's things like um, rainforest friendly. And it changes over time. Um, we, back in the early days, printed on the very first Dodger bag ever, we printed the origins on the bag. And then we ended up changing them because they small, high-end coffee. Like, you buy from one farmer, and then, like, they're out. And then you buy from another. And so, like... Our goal as the coffee roaster is to keep the flavor profile the same. Mm. But then when we when we changed the origins, it was like, well, now we have to throw away these plastic bags we printed. And that yeah. seems horrible for the environment. So we just stopped doing that. Um, but it's all really high-end coffee, like 
prime grade steak is like the equivalent in the steak world to what we're doing in the coffee world. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's yeah. delicious. Um, you guys have said it's delicious. So we're very, we're very happy about that. Um, Wait, is that base trade? Oh my god! Yeah, base trade comes in every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for thinking I'm adorable, buddy. <laughs> Speaking um, of new things we added to the store, yes, is that where you were going? I was. I was actually gonna um, try to answer a question in chat. Okay, you um, do that. Somebody was saying why? Uh, why do we keep saying ethically sourced instead of specifically like fair trade? Um, and we've talked about that a little bit before and I can try to answer it and feel free to hop in if I'm like not really nailing it. But, yeah. um, essentially like to have like fair trade put on it when you're dealing with, um, with like small family farms, it actually costs them a lot to get verified as fair trade. Um, and so we try to just do our due diligence to make sure that everything is, um, is high quality and uh and all of that and that we are interacting you know ethically with the farmers themselves um because not everybody is going to be able to get that fair trade label put on their stuff because it does it does cost them a lot to do that correct yeah i think i think what you're referring to is organic oh, where okay. like the organic <laughs> Well, it's kind of true of all of it, yeah. where, like, these labels have become corporate, like, funded, mostly. So Starbucks is putting tons of money into organic and putting tons of money into, like, fair trade. And as a result, these huge corporate farms are the ones who have someone on staff who knows how to do the paperwork and knows how to, you know, can read English and use the internet and things like that. And that's not always true of a you know, a sixth generation coffee farmer. Um, but the way the way we kind of solve for that is our importer only deals in in fairly traded coffee. And so it, anything they're touching, we know for sure, everything they do, fair fair wages paid, good working conditions, like they've been to the farms, no, you know, child labor, no slave labor, none of that. When it comes to like, whether or not the the bean like a farm that grows and does everything in the way that organic coffee you know would normally be certified the, our importer tries to be that person who can do the paperwork with the farmer um, but they don't always do it instantly or right away or it takes a while or the farmer doesn't always get it and so like for example all of the all the coffee we're buying right now is certified organic um, it's grown without chemicals, it's, you know, in, in a nice way for the world. And like the nice way for the world is why I care about it, not the this has this corporate seal on it that we like approve of. So it's just the way in which we go about buying. And I, I just call it like human valued mm. buying, human valued supply chain. Like we care about the place that this that our products come from. But we're not going to be bound by like a corporate like system of seal of approval, especially because, you know, like two or three weeks ago, like Starbucks farms found to have slave labor. It's like, I thought this was all like certified. Right. Like, what are you yeah. doing, guys? And it's it's like it, you basically just have to give a shit and like look into it and do it yourself and you know, not follow anyone's rules, but follow like your heart and what is the right way to do things. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, we read about it. I definitely read about all of this stuff, but yeah, we're, 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 I'm very proud of the way we supply our coffee yeah. um, without like being bound to anyone's specific way of doing it. Yeah. Our, um, our honey is uh, from like a small, farm <laughs> like a like a uh it's sourced by david from someone in nebraska um like knows them and and has been there and knows how it all operates and all of that so we we try to be um as knowledgeable and hands-on as possible 
So yeah, yeah. Um, and we do have a new product that David has been extremely hands on with. If uh, <laughs> you want to talk about that, I can I can do the reveal, or you can do the reveal. You do it. You do it. You do okay. it. Okay. So um, a couple of the other uh, coffee lines you might have noticed have had candles. And we've been talking about doing candles for a while, and we're putting two in the store. They are live right now. Um, one is Campfire. This is Sam's favorite. He loves this one. And the other one is Sage and Cinnamon. I love them both. Sam's mom is obsessed with Sage and Cinnamon. Uh, they're both great. They're nice and big. Um, and the packaging, this is one of our, our first attempts to like try and have really uh like packaging that's very recyclable this is what it looks like super simple we just decided to go with just like a a clear dodger logo on the candle um on the bottom it does say what it is in case you get both and you're like i don't i don't know <laughs> i took them both out and already threw out the boxes i don't know what they are um and it also includes a little a little matchbox if you need them Wait, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a discount for everyone on stream. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to make a $5 discount code. This is glass. Yeah, they're they're in um in glass. This is uh, a recyclable box. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. The smell has just been like contained in this box for so long and I popped it open and now it's just mm. Yeah, dude. I was just smelling them too. I was like, "Oh my god, I forgot I get these." Smell. <laughs> they smell so good. Okay, They're, okay, yeah. I, I created code. Okay, it's amazing. Stream, it's stream five, just like I just posted as Dodger Coffee in your chat. Stream five, it's five dollars off. Amazing, capital yeah. S stream five, the number five. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna wait. How come? There. Now Dodger Coffee is VIP'd. <laughs> Boom. So you can, talk as, you can talk as much as you want now. <laughs> you have normal me VIP'd, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure I do. We just made... Do you remember why we made the Dodger Coffee's Twitch account? It was wasn't, so we it, could... wasn't it to gift subs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was do the, <laughs> to do the gifted sub thing. That was fun. We should do something like that again. I know. But are they acceptable? I don't know. Like... Because there was that controversy of like, hey, brand. It was Br like uh, brands like promoting themselves by doing that. Yeah, yeah. It, we were it one was, of the first. Um, we were one of the first to do that. <laughs> yeah, we did it from the goodness of our hearts. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we wanted to support small streamers, and we brought all you guys with us. <laughs> it's not like, oh god, who was it? It was that three-person shooter game. Uh, and I can't get Overwatch out of my head. Three person it shooter got, game. It was gonna kill PUBG. And then it we Apex? all played it. Yeah, Apex. Yeah, launched. Apex. <laughs> Apex was fun. It. I'd like to go back to Apex. Right. Was fun. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't stick with shooters for very long, so I know. I know. <laughs> Me neither. Um some people are asking about like what, what the candles are made of, how how they're made, oh, all of that. Yeah. So um Okay. David literally like has right, been involved in the candles. making of these. So yeah, go for it. Okay, these are all natural soy wax. Um no paraffin, none of like the crazy basically what big corporate candles do. <laughs> I found out is they they basically add all these chemicals to stabilize the wax and make it, you know, a pretty color um or like um just make it so that it they're shelf stable for a long long time like they're putting preservatives in a candle and so it's like um why uh when you can use something much more natural that releases much less chemicals oh no other than the wick is two ingredients one is soy wax and then the other is the fragrance we use which they're all super high-end um like fragrance industry as good as you can get fragrances um and then we hand pour them in nebraska and 
um, we were talking about Akira and the way we kind of like got into this was um, Akira bought a candle company called Faya. Faya. Um, and Faya was just in Cosbox. If any of you know what Cosbox is, we, we sold some reed diffusers, which I don't have any of those around. But basically, you know, they're like little sticks that are sit in oil and they smell good. Um, but her original thing Sarah made was um, candles. We actually added the Faya soaps to the marketplace too. That's on Dodger. Coffee. Yeah, when we were when we were trying out the marketplace, it was one of the things that we threw in there. Yeah. Yeah, and um, like those those are like goat milk uh, soaps, and they're so amazing. I seriously use them every day. <laughs> like it's definitely my soap. But anyways, the candles. Um, <laughs> So when we bought Faya, she, they did not make a candle this size. And I was like, we have to make a bigger candle. Like, it's mm. got to be like a big, chunky, like more wicks. Chunkest candle. Uh, yeah. And so um, we came. Apparently oh, the code isn't not... working. Let's see why. Do, 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 do. Because. Because. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't start for an hour, apparently. <laughs> Uh, let's Can you see. set it let's to that. start now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, wait. Eastern time. Oh, wait, so it did start. It says it's active. Stream 5. Yeah, no, it says it's active. Weird. Let's see. Like People are saying it's worked for them. Okay. Okay. I'll go make... I'll just, like, go make a cart. Oh, and see if it works for you. Yeah. Yeah, make Dog. sure it is case sensitive, so make sure it's capital S stream five. All one word. Yep, Zenzia just like that. Okay. Yeah. Works for me. Great. Cool. Great, great. Yeah, try it again. Um, um Yeah, Feo Feo was also um like an incredible way for us to get into um like our our whole hope of giving back with the company as well because right. Faya was completely from the get-go she started it off with that in mind um well she i mean she has an amazing story like Faya was on the edge of not making it but it, it was a five-year-old company that she started it like intense personal life situation like she had just gotten divorced her ex-husband had stolen her identity she had no money she was homeless she had nowhere to live she only had her car and she all she had was like a candle making melter that was literally in the back of her trunk and she started driving around the country like going into little boutique stores she'd make candles and try to sell them to these like boutiques who would resell them and every time she'd sell a candle, she'd go to the grocery store and buy food and then go to the, a local food bank and donate this food. And I'm like, you couldn't even afford housing and you were like giving away food. Like, yeah, she's incredible. She's so amazing. And, uh, you know, five years later had built up the Faya brand and, you know, it was going okay. And she's, you know, she's going to these like Nebraska startup pitch competitions trying to figure out like, uh you know how do you how do i how do i take the next step how do i make it she'd like done a retail store and it hadn't worked um and she she has like a good wholesale business as well so it was kind of like wow you have a wholesale business you make all these cool products they're all like with the ethical mindset that we have and how we make coffee and i was like should we just combine our companies i just said it one day and she's like okay sure yeah <laughs> like i don't know what that means but yeah let's do it <laughs> And then, so we got, we, we merged in March and then like still that month, um, I had a trip scheduled to Los Angeles to try to meet with some more creators to get some more, um, coffee brands going. And, um, she, she's like, oh, I want to set this meeting with this company called Cosbox I've been working on for years. And so we walk into this meeting with Cosbox and Sarah has just like a couple of these like sample like Faya items. And one of them's the reed diffuser and the girl 
whose name is Hannah, and she's like the main person you see for Cosbox. She's like part like I buy everything that goes in Cosbox, part like I'm the influencer of Cosbox. <laughs> like right. she's on camera and she just like picked up the read diffuser and goes, Oh, we'll buy that. And Sarah's like, Great. I was like I'm like sitting there like cool i have no idea what's happening right now <laughs> and like, so like they they decide to buy that and they send us the paperwork and it's like for seventy five thousand of these things that like sarah's made like once ever and we're like oh i was like oh okay so how much is this gonna cost us to make and it's hundreds of thousands of dollars suddenly like that i have to spend on glass and oil and scent and like sticks and then, and then, so like we start, we're like a week in to like just ordering stuff. We haven't gotten anything yet. And the email is back and they're like, can you double the order and add another cent? And like, and so we are just like, oh, so I need hundreds of thousands of more dollars to like buy all this stuff. And like, I've got to like come up with it instantly. And so like, we're like all just spending all this money, like, Sarah, I really hope you know how to make read diffusers. <laughs> like, all this like stuff from all these different Sarah, places oh coming God. in, and like then coronavirus is hitting, and we have to make all these read diffusers, and we need like twenty people to help us. And so we're like, "Oh, what do you do with that?" Like, I really hope no one's sick. It's so, like every time anyone walked in, we'd make them go to the back and immediately wash their hands. And like, the, if you've been exposed at all, you can't come to work. But it was all these people who, you know, because we it's a temporary job for us. So it was people who had like temporarily been out of work from um, the food industry or temporarily out of work from, you know, like bar. And then it was all these people who needed work and needed money. And Whoops. so it like it ended up like we ate, were able to give like 20 people who wouldn't have normally who needed work. We were able to give them work. And we, it was this monstrous project that took like, like literally last week, we just sent out the fourth semi load um, and, and we're done. Actually and, insane. Yeah. So if, it if was any of you guys follow Erin and saw her like posting pictures being like going to work and we're like, what is she doing? Where is she working? It's because she was also like part of this huge project that suddenly just happened. Um. Yeah, but, yeah. I'll here. I'll I'll get a picture of these things. I'll get a link to what they look like. <laughs> um, so this I is was what we playing royalty made. free lo fi beats chat. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's what our pre show music was. I accidentally clicked on Spotify and it like popped up over your camera and I was like, uh <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that link I sent. Those are the reed diffusers we made. We they had look to great. make. Yeah, so we made the bergamot and grapefruit and white tea ginger for Cosbox. And then the rest, Cosbox has never had. Um, yeah. So that was wow. like, that was the first like, hey, we, we've combined our companies. Okay, officially. Now do this thing <laughs> that neither of us knew was coming. Oh, my camera died again. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's wild. And now it's like, and now it's like, oh, and we have like these Dodger candles. And let's make a bunch of candles. <laughs> yeah. But the Dodger candles. So we launched Carlin Brothers candles. We've kind of yes. been work, like Faya's brand needed work. It's totally different now than it was like three months ago. I think a lot of and times so Dodger coffee winds up being the guinea pig to like try it yeah. first. And so it's kind yeah. of fun, like being like other people have already done the candles. <laughs> yeah. We have candles yeah. now. And oh my God, the Carlin Brothers candles were insane too. Like, yeah. cause they're kind of like Harry Potter themed. Right. And like, th they just were like a smash hit. Um, and so like we bought Sarah, like a double the size can't like wax melter. So she could make more at a time. She could only make like 14 of these at a time with the melter she had. And then we had to wait right. like, 30 more minutes for the wax melt so now she can make like 50 or something like that amazing um, big difference yeah 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 no she's so happy with, like with her big piece of equipment like she's five years into making candles i know uh it's so cute guys. so buy she's candles so 
<laughs> by the candles. Yes. So, um, yeah, we've got these sage and cinnamon candles, the campfire candles. Um, they are both very different. Um, but like I said, like I adore them both. They're they're both very. Um, neither of them are are like fruity or or like sweet smelling at all. Um, because as with everything else in the store, we aim for stuff that that I personally really really like. <laughs> Um, so I'm sorry, any of you who are like, I like, I like super raspberry candles. Um, yeah, they're, they're yeah. both, they're both kind of like, um, I don't want to say cologne they're both, but they both they're fall earthy. in the spicy side. Yeah. Of spicy, the earthy kind of smells. And I love them. So if that's yeah. your vibe, um, I think you will like both of these a lot. My, my mother-in-law, like, I dropped off a sage and cinnamon one to my mother-in-law. And she was like, when are these going up? I want to buy 10. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm taking that as a very good sign. She really likes yeah. them. They're um, both clean, clean yes. spells, I would say. They, yeah. They could, like, I could see making a soap or a, mm -hmm. yeah, like a cologne, like you said. But they're not colognes. They're just fresh. They're yeah. fresh. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we are adding to the store today that I took a picture for, <laughs> is that up? Yes. Is it good? It's up. You're good. Okay. Amazing. Is uh, these. Yeah. Um, people have been asking for something like this for a while. Uh, and we wanted to make sure that we got like a really good quality one. And also with this one, it's very fun because, um, color wise, it's very similar to uh, the color that we use on branding for the bag, but uh, these are amazing. Sam's obsessed with it and got told off for using it on stream because I was like, they're not in the store yet, Sam. You can't <laughs> use those. <laughs> but he loves it because um, his office gets very hot at night and he put uh, water in one of these and threw it in the fridge and then brought it upstairs and was like, it was still cold, like, hours later. These things are amazing. <laughs> so he loves it. Um, they're they're very, very nice. They keep things super hot. They keep things super cold. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I love the color. I, I, think, I think the color is so nice. So we so. should mention Corksicle with these. Yes. So that's the partner that we worked with to make them. And they are much higher end than like, so we could have gotten something very similar on like just a generic like promo website where you just like throw your logo on something and they would have been like half the price. But these guys have a way higher end like manufacturing process and it, they genuinely work and last way longer. Like the, the, tumbler that Aaron uses is still from our foxtail days mm. which was like two and a half years ago and it's a corksicle tumbler um so it's like it, it's really high end and they're also a company that gives back they're they're a b corp which means that they have certain elements of their company are giving back to the world and also treating their employees well and all of that um, so yeah, it's good. It's, it's a really good product. Yeah. I'm very happy with them. Uh, both Sam and I have been using them a lot. Like I said, uh, a yeah. sorry to a sorry to my sweet husband who just desperately wanted to use them on stream. And I kept being like, <laughs> if you have a camera on, you cannot use it. <laughs> you cannot use it. It's not in the store yet, but they are in the store now. So uh, yeah. those, yeah, those are the products that that we are adding. Um, so I saw in chat a question about international shipping. Yes. So okay, so <laughs> Donald Trump destroyed the post office. It's just not to get all political. <laughs> just, just kidding. It's been a long time coming. Um, but basically, so the U.S. Postal Service pulled out of a okay. So whenever. <laughs> Whenever the mail services of two different countries send stuff to each other, like, have you noticed, like, I can put something in the mail to you from the USPS and it, and the Royal Post or whoever it is, is over there, like, they 
deliver it. Right. And so the two countries, postal services, have an exchange program. <clears throat> um, so they exchange, they have a r certain rate that they just charge each other. And that is governed by this like 44 country program. So 44 countries were a member of this uh, like exchange rate program where none of them had to negotiate individual treaties. They just like were part of it and it was, it just set the prices, which meant everything would be fine. So the post office is going downhill in the U S not really, but there is basically this, oh, it is, it is actually super politicized, so I won't go into it, but essentially the post office is running out of money. And so in order to, for the post office to get basically a bailout from Congress, they're being asked to do certain things like charge more for international shipping, but they can't That's charge nice. more because they're a member of this exchange program. And so they had to pull out of it. And uh. so as of right now, there is not a set rate to mail something from America to England, for example, through USPS. It would go like it like they're just like all being cool with each other right now. But in theory, the UK could just send it back. Um, and so shipping rates are getting massively disrupted. Um, at the same time, we launched Top of the Morning Coffee at Akira, which was with Jack Septicai, and essentially without like going into all that, essentially Akira is now top of the morning coffee and we have some teeny little side projects. <laughs> it, is, uh, it was not surprising at all. Put that, but, um... put into context what we do here now. <laughs> and so the good news is, is that top of the morning coffee and like Jack are so big that we kind of like qualify at a different level of, of remember shipping. like back in the day when we would talk about this on other streams and we would be like it would be incredible for us to adjust shipping but as of right now we're too small like there's just no way that we can offer value to a shipping company at our size right we've done right. the best that we can so that's the context for this update <laughs> yeah right and so right exactly and so we launched Top of the Morning, okay, Top of the Morning was way more successful than I thought it was going to be because we had my favorite coffee and Smosh, and Smosh is super huge and super successful, and, and we have data from how that launch went. But Jack was on a whole nother level. He got way more into it. Like, he's personally running the social media. Like, His I viewers love... are also very, like, incredibly dedicated to supporting him. So Yeah, and I think that's true of has... Smosh, but, like... It's just like he just went so hard, like <laughs> in, he's so into it, and, and he got you know, and he it's like he's treating it like as part of his world, and it's super funny, and like so, basically, and I think it's okay to share this, but like forty percent of traffic on his web store on top of the morning was international, but only ten percent of orders were. Mm -hmm. And so that to me was like a super strong data point of you're losing like 30% of the orders you could have had to people aren't checking out, like they aren't yeah. finishing checking out. So we took the abandoned cart data and the actual real sales data and we went to um, basically some like huge bulk carriers and it basically um, it was – this like vendor who had helped like the game grumps do something. I'm not even sure what, but like one time helped the game grumps do some international shipping stuff and happened to know who Sean was. Sean's like texting that guy being like, how did you do this? And like got that guy got a hold of me. He's like, Hey, here's how we did it. And I was thinking like, this is going to be something I've already tried, but no, nope, like it's like a legit, like this company that owns their own airplanes oh, wow. <laughs> and like flies like has distribution centers. And so like basically what we're in the process set of setting up for top of the morning, which will then apply to everyone once we know it works is Sorry. <laughs> um, 
basically we're gonna like print off the shipping labels for the coffee as if it originated in Europe in Orlando. We're gonna stack all of those boxes up on pallets. We're gonna wrap those pallets up, put them on a semi truck to New Jersey. In New Jersey is the distribution center of this company. They're gonna break those pallets apart and then separate them based on where they're going. And then on their own airplanes, they're gonna fly them into Europe and then originate the shipping as if it was in Europe to begin with. And it's something like for one single bag of coffee, it took it from like $28 to like $12. Um, That's a huge difference. And where I was just like, oh my God, like this is great. Yeah. Um, oh, that would be so and, great if that all worked yeah. out. So that's what we're working on, like basically just trying to like set up the back end of it. The It's very it's like there's so many vendors involved because they're, they're what's called a consolidator. So they don't deliver any packages. So we have to like plug in all these foreign postal service like accounts and get hooked up and we pay for it. It's just like it's on the back end. It's just like. You know, it's a professional logistics operation. Yeah. So that's what we're working on now. Um, so it should it should work, and it uh, you know like hopefully it's like it's the next thing on my list after this stream is to work on it more. Mm -hmm. And once we figure out how to get it live, then we'll bring it over to Dodger and Carlin and everyone. Yeah. So hopefully that means a huge break in international shipping costs for people totally and i think um it's... i know that uh a lot of people who are international have also said that like they would love to take advantage of um the we have like huge discounts if you uh if you sign up for like a recurring coffee order um and i know oh, that yeah. for some people it's been like well i even with the discount i don't know that it's worth it for me to sign up for that versus just like buying some coffee and being like, I supported you. Right. Um, if we could make that more affordable shipping wise, it would be a lot easier for people to have like recurring coffee deliveries as well. So it yeah. would just, it would make everything just better. <laughs> yeah. I would say like subscription is like our number one, most important like metric that we track. Like, mm -hmm. Are, are people getting a good value? Like, are they happy? Because so the subscription deal is half off your first order and 25% off every order from then on for the coffee, the cold brew. Oh, I should make the candles subscribable. Duh, David. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, well, I'll do that. Right <laughs> now. I was like, I'll do that later. And then I was like, wait, no, people are going to want that discount. But yeah, then it's... I'm like, oh, people already ordered. Ugh. It's also nice on the back end because um, I gotta do that. Uh, when we put out discount codes, for example, like right now, when we put out discount codes, you can also apply that to a future order. Because basically when you, um, when you sign up for uh, recurring coffee orders or recurring whatever, uh, you make an account with us. You can go in there and be like, I don't want this one to ship or... I want to adjust how often it shows up, but also along with the discount that's already there, you can say, Hey, I saw this discount code on the Dodger coffee Twitter. I'm going to apply it to this next order and it will apply. So they do double down. It's not one or the other. Um, so we just, we talked about it a lot and we just wanted for the people who are able to um, have a recurring subscription, like that means a lot to us. Um, like that consistent support is incredible. So we wanted that value to, to be there and for it to, um, to really make a difference. Yeah. And it just like, it helps us know, it helps us plan, it helps us build. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know, one of the, like the cool, th it's been really cool to actually watch subscription happen. Uh, like we're as high as we've ever been so like things are definitely growing yeah there was a huge jump as people had to stay home for coronavirus so like it was a really oh, weird i'm sure that's true yeah right because like people who normally get coffee at 
in the office don't have to get it anymore or they, they don't get it for free anymore they've got to make it right. at home and so yeah we jumped something like if i okay starting at march 1st we had like 380 now we have 440 <laughs> so amazing yeah, it's like yeah That's it wild. was like 60 yeah it's 60 people so yeah it's really cool to see like how just different things in life affect that and mm -hmm. i'm sure now everyone's when everyone goes back to work it, the number will drop again but that's okay <laughs> um yeah. yeah so okay i think i got did i just get the candles set up let me see yep okay you can subscribe to the candles now can um can stream five Ooh. be used on a subscription or no oh did i lie did i oh. lie to people no hold on hold on hold on <laughs> Yes. Well, no. I but did, but on. not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're someone right. was like, I don't do think that. that it works on my subscription. Discount codes. Add a discount code. Stream. <sighs> okay, start now. So Ends sick. today, people. Ends today. Today only. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for hanging out with us and like being invested in our little business. It means a lot to us. Okay. Now now it can work on a subscription. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the rule. Well, cuz our subscription app like is like almost a totally separate store. I have to go into it and add things there. Mm. Okay. Um yeah, the o the only other thing that I think that we haven't mentioned is that um, we we still have the marketplace going, correct? Yeah, we do. Definitely. Um, so the marketplace was something that we set up when uh, when COVID started really hitting and a bunch of people started losing their jobs, and we were hearing about all of these like creators and artists and small businesses and things um, who relied on you know mostly in person situations in order to sell their stuff. Uh, and we decided to do basically the online version of when you go into a little coffee shop and there are like lots of things that are made by other people, you know, in town or whatever that are just kind of out, you know, soaps and necklaces and things like that. Um, and we decided to, yeah, make the, the Dodger Coffee Marketplace um, and had people submit to have something in the marketplace there's a variety of things in there um from all different types of people and uh it's it's been very fun i think it's i think it's been a fun little thing to add yeah i will say if any of the four people who have applied to be on it but i haven't answered yet are here i just remembered i need to get back to all of them, so <laughs> I will do that. but yeah I, so we 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 had it as i've been busy i'm sorry i messed up i know okay. you've got a lot going yeah. on yeah so it, it started with the dirty cookie as like the idea i just like saw this girl on linkedin be like my whole entire business is is dead like sh the dirty <laughs> cookie um almost like exclusively sold to like a company that was having an event and they'd come set up these cookie shots at the event and she's like it's it's all ending she's this former boeing engineer who just like figured out how to make cookie shots basically <laughs> um and i was like god i was like i bet we could sell some cookie shots and we have we have like you guys have bought a lot of them um and the way our market uh page works is it sorts by what is selling the most so like you can see the order of what is selling the most to the least well and one of them we're sold out of right now so don't count that one but like those cookie shots went wild and she since has like pivoted her whole business to try to sell directly to customers now and they're trying they're finally like figuring out how to make it it's awesome um but she's like super thankful to us because we like literally while she's laying everyone off, we were bringing her sales and money. Mm. Um, the Faya soaps we talked about, we make those. Um, the pancake mix, the waffle, the waffle mix. I don't want to call it pancake. It's waffle mix. <laughs> Is this, this guy, the waffle man in Lincoln, 
who his whole thing is he goes to like churches or cancer fundraisers or whatever and puts on pancake feeds and then the ticket sales go to whatever he's supporting um and so obviously with coronavirus shutting down every single event where you would go and you know do a pancake or waffle feed he ha he had literally had went to zero income in his life um and so we've been buying like bulk boxes from him and these are like big bags by the yeah, way like the value a, like on the waffle mix tons. is actually wild <laughs> yeah they make a lot of waffles uh and then we did an art print with nick that is mm -hmm. so cute super cute and, and like she's been helping to promote like this whole marketplace thing and like basically she's giving back too um just by like being a part of it uh and then the phil. perler keychain yeah, yeah phil. filthy turtle who comes into our chat all the time phil is a lovely streamer and he's also a nurse um yep. and does perler stuff so like he's definitely been like emotionally physically affected by all of this stuff um and so it's been awesome having him be part of the store as well so well, yeah and we're paying him there's a funny story the negotiation with him he's like i don't want to charge you too much and I'm like, th I mean, it's this is for the people we're working with. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, well, I'm trying really hard not to lay like off. I want like to stop paying any of the people I'm working with. And it was like, you know, it's like it was like four dollars or five dollars or something, whatever it was. And I was like, we'll pay you the five dollars. Don't worry. Like, just <laughs> just make them like, don't worry about that. Um, yeah. He's and a very yeah. sweet person and he works very yeah. hard. Yeah so we're that's the marketplace and yeah i'm really proud of it yeah i, I think, think that i think that was an incredible idea on your part oh good well yeah. yeah i mean it's it's honestly it's a very small percentage of sales like the main thing you know we're still a coffee company mostly yeah but it is it like sells like as if you had one of those little shelves in a coffee shop like they're never like that big of a deal but it's nice to be able to like give back and use like a little bit and of just... our traffic and attention and and help other people yeah it's just it it feeds into um the like nice community vibe as well i think um to have other people involved and part of it is is really fun i like it it makes me feel cozy in my heart yeah. <laughs> so yeah uh i know a lot of you even even over the last couple of minutes have come into chat and been like oh right you have a coffee company uh so i'm glad that um so many of you showed up to listen to us talk about all of just it just blab yeah just talk about you know our the the beans and and the candles and like everything uh again it, it's nothing without you guys. It's nothing without you guys. Like you helped us go from just beans to a lot more. Um, and uh, we're very happy to be independent now um, and working with so many other incredible people and doing their coffee lines and stuff too. That's awesome. So yeah, we appreciate it. Well, <laughs> Should we play some video games? Sure. What do you want to do? This is the, this is well, the part of the stream we did not discuss at the time. <laughs> I'm like, I just got to know which uh, one to download and update. Right. Oops. We can uh, always Jackbox. We could always Jackbox. We could Jackbox for sure. We can, we can always play StarCraft. <laughs> always. I'll be, always offer that for you. Do you have... Um, I keep forcing this on everybody. Do you have Tabletop Simulator? Okay. Um, nope. But I can. Oh, that actually really surprises me. I thought for sure you would have it. You don't Why? have to. You don't have to get Why it. Why would you think I would have that? Because it has, like, every board game ever built into it. <laughs> it just seemed like a thing you would wind up having at some point. Well... I can't. Okay, so let me let me like tell you why I'm asking ignored, you that. It's ignored on my Steam list. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why. 
<laughs> you were like, fuck this, no. <laughs> huh. Okay, well, I've unignored it. <laughs> so, uh, I've been doing jigsaw puzzles with my viewers on Tabletop Simulator. So I was going to say, if you wanted to just be able to keep, like, chilling and talking and answering questions and hanging out, we could do a jigsaw puzzle with viewers. Okay. But if that doesn't but sound fun to you, it? that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, you would be no, you would be in there at the same time, along with whoever else wanted to join the server. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. I'm getting more people okay. doing jigsaw puzzles with me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Plus, I'll get Dodger Coffee to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a tax write-off. Yeah, it's a business sure. expense. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to play Coffee Talk, guys. Is that an option? Coffee Talk is like a visual novel. Oh. So I would rather that we played something that didn't require us, like, completely focusing on it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take... Yeah david's picture away for a second just so that okay. i can get everything sorted and open up the right things <sighs> when did um kaylee try coffee for the first time do you remember no but she said she liked it before she'd ever tried it <laughs> <laughs> so, she um she was at like daycare and they were doing like filling in these little sheets like these cute little things where it's like what's your favorite blah and then they just like write in whatever they answer and they asked her what her favorite food was and she said coffee oh that's cute though i know Aww. okay install content boom i agree thanks steam Okay, um, so chat, should we do like a picture of a Dodger coffee bag or something? Like just go full on branding. It'll be challenging too because there's so much black. That's true. You could do a candle. You could I could send you one of the store candle files. Since the candle's new. Yeah, I think this I think this picture would be a nightmare, but I kind of still want to do it. <laughs> well, hey, d follow your heart. Listen to your heart. <laughs> when it's something for you. Calling. When it's oh, calling. the the Tumblr picture. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Then we can make your face. Yes. Hold up, let me open this up real fast so that I can grab it from my convo with David on the computer. Copy <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. It's going to make me want to sing. I'm sorry. No, and I had a friend message me and say they were watching, so... It would oh, be hello, friend. Say hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see if it works. We're going to be super squished. <laughs> It is super squished, and all of the pieces look the same. Um, let me know when you are in, and I can invite you to the game. Okay, three minutes. Okay, sounds great. Oh, wonderful. Last time that I streamed, we did Tabletop Simulator. So that's easy peasy. Okay, chat, you're going to have to be patient because I'm not letting you in before David gets in. 
<laughs> can I can I say something funny? Of course okay. you can. While while the, well, I mean I don't know if this will be funny to people. This was funny to me. So <laughs> if you look very close, very very close, one person notice it. At the Dico Instagram account, which I'm not even logged into right now. Great. You're cutting out a little Hold bit. On. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. If you look very close at the Dodger Coffee Co. Instagram. Do this. Not prepared. Donuts on it. Uh, okay. you are you are roboting. I'm gonna restart the call. Okay. Okay. Hello. Wait, did that do anything? Because I didn't hang up. I hung up. I still a robot, but I stayed on. I know. That's. I'm wondering if our connection was bad. So if I leave, it has to reestablish the connection when I hop back in the call. Well, I trust you because you're the streamer. <laughs> okay. So, so, so anyway, you weren't logged into the Instagram. You're now logged into the Instagram, maybe? Question mark. There's a, there's a picture on there with donuts. Right. It might be on our Twitter too. If you look very very closely at that picture, you will see the candle. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I leaked it. I leaked it weeks ago. <laughs> it was all planned. Yeah. Big conspiracy. I love it. Big moves. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm big pre- moves. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure I tweeted it too. I'm pretty sure that's where someone noticed. And I want to say it was R&R, but I don't want to, you know, rush my memory here. Right. I could see it being okay. R&R. Attention to detail, etc. It was Avi. It was Avi. <laughs> Damn. He said, you know what? I'm going to like it right now Do from it. April 10th. Is that a Dodger coffee candle in the background? Amazing. What? And Incredible. it was. Enclave. Ooh, Steam has finished downloading. Here we Yay. go. Yeah, people were like, he's probably roboting because he's downloading a thing. And I was like, oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Okay, let me grab you in. Um... Tabletop simulator. Dude, Brooke. Yeah. What's up? TikTok. Yeah. Wow. What has happened to my life? <laughs> I keep seeing the stuff that's like, it's Chinese spyware, delete it. And I'm like, but I just got it. <laughs> but I've just oh, finally it is got it. For sure, Chinese spyware. The point, I don't even, like, it's all, uh, it's all spyware. Like, my NSA dude and me, he's, he must know so much, you know, whatever. It's funny though. Would I like to play quick tutorial? No. Also, someone said to show the candle again, so there's that. Oh yeah, it's a two wick candle in glass, soy wax, all those good things. Um. Okay. Okay, I'm inviting. Sound. I'm inviting you to my lobby. See if that works. Okay, I think I got it. Let me just finish turning down these sounds. <laughs> Every game, it's like a race to turn, <laughs> to turn the volume down. down. The I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. Boom. Play uh, a game. Two wick. Two wick. So there's two wicks in the candle because yeah. it's like it's like a decent size. So there's two wicks in it so that it you don't wind up with the situation where it's like burning down the center, but the sides are fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And Sarah is super into the proper ways to maintain a candle. So, like, when it starts getting all, like, mushrooming, uh, enter server password. Oh, cold brew, all lowercase. Ah, ha, ha. 
so when uh, when like the wick starts to okay when it starts to like chat that's the you server know how... name and password hop in anybody who wants to what is this douge fire wants to open this some url oh oh just oh just... i see yeah duke fire okay, is so... me so you know when the wicks when you burn them sometimes they start to get huge yeah. at the top yeah, yeah, you're yeah. supposed to trim that off oh that i didn't sense. know that yeah so you're supposed to trim those off and then when you start burning a candle you want to wait to blow it out until the entire top part of of the wax melts otherwise it will start to burn down in a hole like what you were saying wait sorry say that again so like that you want to wait the first time you melt or whenever you light the candle if you don't wait for the entire top to to turn liquid mm. it and you only give it like a little bit then just it will just only ever burn down in that little bit it never like catches itself back oh up. i see what you're saying sense? right so you want to leave it on long enough for the entire top of the wax to become liquid mm. and then you're good I see. I know. I didn't know all these there things. So many little candle tricks and tips. Also, Aaron just brought me food, so sorry. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, we still have one opening left, guys. If any of you would like to join. Um, David, change your, in the top right, there's like mm -hmm. um, a symbol of a person lifting weights and then a number next to it. The number is your rotation degrees. Change it to 90 so that when you're rotating pieces, it rotates 90 degrees each time. It's just quality of life. How do I change it? Oh, you should just click it. If you click the number, it should just change. It's all white. Wait, can you guys see it? I see all white pieces. What? Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, let's... Uh. Hold on. Everybody hold. Everybody hold. Okay. Hold on. I'm reloading it in. Can you see it now? Yes. Great. Wonderful. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Wait. Nobody <laughs> grab pieces yet. Nobody grab pieces yet. We're still waiting for another person. There's one slot left. Chat. If anybody wants to take part in this shit show of pieces that all look the same, get in here. One slot left. Cold brew. All lowercase. Server name and password probably gonna spend most of my time watching this happen that's fine yeah if you want to mostly just like watch chat and answer questions and just chill and eat your food feel free great wonderful i'm going to edit us to tabletop simulator great we're at we're at capacity all right let's go Grabbing side pieces first so that we can create the outside edge. If a piece is where it's supposed to be, it will lock into place and you will not be able to move it again. So don't put a piece down and be like, yeah, that's it. Double check that it's in the right spot. You guys asked for the picture of me holding the tumbler, and this is what it is. Just a lot of goddamn beige, <laughs> including my skin tone. So... So wait, enjoy. So, huh. so if you put it down somewhere, wait, oh jeez. If you, you put can't it down, move it again? if you put it down and it's in the right spot, you can't move it. It locks. So uh, it'll it'll tell you if it's in the right spot or not. Okay. Great, like that. I see. Whoa, this is so crazy watching it come together. Oops. 
Remember that time that Twitch played Pokemon? Yeah, I remember that. It was unbelievable. <laughs> and it was mind-blowing. That they actually beat the Elite Four. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I don't know how I feel about placing pieces that are my own hair and whatnot, but I guess I'll deal with it. <laughs> yeah, deal with it, dude. It's weird. It's weird. They're like five pieces that are like all white yeah we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it <laughs> but like i don't even know what's all white in the reference image um would you like me to send you the reference oh you have it you have it on your phone yeah yeah to be fair a lot of times it's all like um, there's like slight differences to shade so you can determine the difference it just takes time I think this goes here I'm gonna play music. My question is, are you doing the original version or the melodica version? Oh, <laughs> I was doing the original, but the first time that I saw the melodica version, um, I cried, laughed. I cried, laughed. Oh my yeah, God. sure. It's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I would go. I would go into Lane's stream, because he has a thing where you can exchange the little like points you get for song requests. Okay. And the song, the song request could be any YouTube URL. Amazing. And so I would just song request that version of Jurassic Park. That's so good. Yeah. Sorry, Lane. Not sorry. <laughs> Kind of sorry, Lane. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oops, I'm sorry. Just totally yoinked that from someone. By accidente. Okay, great. It's, the edge is basically gone. That's good chaotic energy. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. Okay, that's more shirt. I'm just gonna start putting all of the shirt pieces together, I guess. Okay, that's the tumbler. Shirt, 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 tumbler, tumbler, shirt. Um, but yeah, if there's any like, if there's any board games that you really like, David, um, people inside of the Steam Workshop have made pretty much every board game in tabletop yeah. simulator. Um, so for that, it's very nice. Is that my ear? I can almost guarantee that similar to video games, you and I probably like different tabletop games. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I more just meant if, if you were like, man, I hope that uh, I get some other value out of buying this. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. Oh, here's a good zoom in on my fingies. Here's, oh yeah, it's 
It's actually like right in there, isn't it? Oh, that breakfast burrito hit the spot. I feel alive now. Breakfast burrito sounds so good. They're so easy to make. Oh, yeah. I make yeah. them at home a lot now. Yeah, I make burritos at home all the time now and just throw them in the freezer if I make too many. Basically, anytime we have, like, leftover rice, I've, uh, I've gotten to the point now where I just make a ton of rice every time I make rice because <laughs> it'll double down as, like, oh, I'll just make some fried rice really quick or oh, I'll just throw those in a burrito or... nice so you know those meals we donate yes <clears throat> i do know those meals we donate um like i wanted to just like see how they were quality wise just like know what we were donating oh yeah so i made one and they're first of all they're delicious i was like nice. what that's in great the world <laughs> yeah um but then second of all, like they make so much food. We yeah? had so much leftovers, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's really it's good legit. to know. Yeah. Yeah, we still have about five thousand of them in the warehouse. Like we're Oh my god. Uh yeah, at Faya we were doing like, hey, tell us like where we should send these. Right. Like what what food banks all over the country need food right now. Uh, okay. And we're still like giving them away. That's Ooh, awesome. I got one. I did yeah. it, you guys. Dude, this is so the hive mind is just like come together and decided <laughs> it's working on the logo of the shirt right now. Yeah, here I think I know where that goes. Maybe it goes there. There we go. The logo is like the easiest thing to start with, right? Because it's so bright. It's like really obvious which pieces yeah. are part of it. Yeah. I think you're the only one. Oh, wait. May oh, maybe I can be the only one who can't hear it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, because I don't think I can broadcast it through Discord. That's cool. It's weird if it helps. It's like a really weird song. I think I'm going to change it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm tweeting. Perfect. Swap. This is too weird. Next. Zarnar here? I don't know. I think he was going to be once he was done with work stuff. There he is. I'm fixing your order, bud. Aw. Oh my god, the picture. I forget the pictures come through on our fulfillment software, so now there's just a picture of you holding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Oh, goodness. I got a bunch of those in the bank. You just let me know. Our, you need me. Our <laughs> warehouse people are going to be so confused. Let's see. They're gonna be like, I don't know what product that is. <laughs> it has like, some girl's face on it. Get me.
You want to know what's sad? What's sad? My the shirt that I was super excited about for us, like to make a whole like themed line out of. Yes. Like it never really sold that much. The um. The, blue the French one? press. Yeah. yeah. And I wore it the other day and it's so comfortable. I'm yeah, like, Sam loves that someone, shirt. Someone just was like, oh, that's a really cool shirt you're wearing. I'm like, thank you. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is a cool <laughs> shirt, is it not? Because basically what we figured out was patent images are in the public domain. Yeah. Uh, especially for really old ones like like old timey patents so like i pulled the patent design for the french press and we made a shirt out of it i was like yes people are gonna love this and then it's like eh. yeah it did okay it did a, it did <laughs> I mean, the cool kids bought it right totally refresh your cam my friend okay Boom. Taking care of taking care of some business. Ooh. Camera. All right. Where are we at on this puzzle? It's time to roll up my sleeves. Oop. Okay. Is that in the right spot? Oh, it is. Oh, great. There we go. I gotta make sure I can still see chat though. Okay, we're working on the tumbler now. Looks uh, like I am, yeah. Okay. You know what? This right here. There we go. Just your eyes being in there is Just, so freaky. I know. I feel the same. That's why I'm trying not to look at them. Uh, <laughs> Wait, was that right? Oh. Go. Oh. Great. Great. More hair. That's wonderful. Everybody putting the frickin' eye emojis in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. All right, so how do you rotate a piece? A scroll wheel. Oh, neato. Yeah. Oh, Q and E, that looks too. Oh, Q and E, apparently. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. <laughs> don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Yo, TikTok. I know, it's infectious. Honestly though, um, one of the things that, and Aaron and I have talked about this a lot, but one of the things that I find so cool about TikTok is how prevalent the um, the number of like uh, therapists and teachers and stuff are on there. There's like well, I think they're really good at figuring out what you're into and giving you more of that. Yeah, I guess that's also true. Like maybe not everybody is gonna come across therapy TikTok, but like there are yeah. there are so many awesome resources on there. There's a lady on there who literally is just like. Um, you know, I'm 
an expert in like teen health, you can ask me literally any question. Um, and answers like, like sex questions, puberty questions, like anything for people. Um, I think stuff like that, like being really accessible to younger people is so cool. Yeah. Well, and you barely have learned about any of that. Yeah. Yourself, so I'm just, I could see why you want to know about puberty. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, just waiting. Ignoring it. I was just waiting. <laughs> it's true, though. I had no sex ed growing up. That is true. So, anybody else grown up in the goddamn boonies in schools where they're like, just don't do it? Um, hey, TikTok has some good resources <laughs> if you have questions about things. <laughs> if you had no sex ed, who taught you? Oh, my dad sat me down and was like, we're having the sex talk. And it was, I'll never forget it. <laughs> He's like, apparently nobody else is going to do this. It's my job. I'm your parent, so let's talk about it. And my mom came home, and he was like, I gave her the sex talk. And my mom was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Great. I'm so glad I did not have one of those with my family. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. She was happy she didn't have to do it. I don't think that, I don't, I think that my mom would not have minded having that convo with me. It was very just like, oh, okay. I didn't, great. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I guess that's done. All right. <laughs> Dude, my your mom is so dope. She's great. She's so sweet. Yeah. She watches my streams all the time. She figured out how to watch VODs and she's so excited. So she'll text me sometimes and be like, I'm watching your VOD of Saturday Morning Duker. I love you. <laughs> Just like, Aww. Mommy, you're so cute. She did. Oh, my God. So, chat, anybody who follows me on Twitter and saw that I did that thing that was like, what kind of energy do you radiate? And... When I typed in Brooke, it said I was angry angel energy. And when I typed in Dodger, it was king, queen, and bottom energy. And so I made a <laughs> I made a power bottom joke on Twitter, right? And my <laughs> mom texted me and she was like, I thought that was so funny that I did it myself. <laughs> and, so, uh. and so she did it. And it was like, <laughs> Susan radiates crazy bitch energy. <laughs> She was like, it's so funny. I love it. <laughs> this makes me laugh. Did your mom know what a power bottom was? I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, mommy, if you wind up watching this video later, um, I don't need to. I don't need to know if you know what a power bottom is, but. <laughs> but if you want to tell. But yeah, if you want to tell me, you can. <laughs> you can text David and let him know. <laughs> I'll let you know if I hear anything. Mm. Um, there's definitely like a lot going on over here. Hmm. 
I have to say this actually has not been nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. There's lots of like different texture variations and stuff on the pieces. And like the it's colors. It's weird how sorry. these pieces, like the where your hand is. No, I'm, I'm sorry. You were why, sorry. Why are you sorry? No, keep going. Well, like where your hand is on my screen, where your like your fingers are, it's like the pieces are broken apart, but they're all definitely in the right place. Yeah, if you if there was a piece like slightly overlapping there or in the wrong spot at the time, um, some sometimes they'll they'll place, but they'll be like a little crooked. Oh. And sometimes it's really extreme, and it's so annoying. Like, so annoying to look at because it looks like it's in the wrong spot the whole time. Ooh, hiccups. Oh, is that my eyebrow? It is! Incredible. After this, I will need to pee. Okay. <laughs> because we've been potty training Clark almost every time on stream that I'm like, all right, I need to go to the bathroom. I either say or almost say, guys, I need to wee wee. So I'll be back. And that's just my life now, so. Um, oh, what? Whoa, get, get, get rid of that. <laughs> get, get rid of that. Get rid of that. <laughs> uh, today I learned you can do that. <laughs> Ooh, what are, what are these? what's this? There we go. Oopsies. There we go, finally. What does flick do? What does flick? Can I flick these? Oh, you can like, yeah, you can like flick a piece, but be careful because if the piece falls off of the table, most of the time it'll get redirected back to the table, but sometimes it just isn't and then it's gone for. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. I took that piece from you. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, what is this? There we go. Well, now we know how big this puzzle is. Oh, that piece was upside zone? down. Zone? What is zone? What? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm I'm exploring the features. Feel free. This is the, this is the David zone. I like it. Yeah. Oh, the zones. Yeah, so what's nice about those is if you're playing a game where everybody has cards, you can determine an area and say, like, I'm the only person who can see this. So it makes oh. it it makes it really nice, like, if you're trying to hide cards or something.
like this game. I didn't even notice you were doing it until it was almost done. <laughs> Dude, quarantine's been rough on you, huh, man? Oh, God, you know. You gotta take care of yourself. Someday we'll grow up and be real professional adults. Mm, that would Erase ruin it. Drawn. That would ruin it. <clears throat> so proud. Everything is where it's meant to be. Nearly every time I do one of these puzzles, at some point, we're like, how come none of the pieces are fitting? And it turns out it's because there are a bunch of pieces that are in the wrong spot and nobody noticed. <laughs> so I just double checked and all of the pieces are in the right spots. Well done, guys. And this is the day I found out that I am the same shade as, uh, the tumbler Your carpet? that we're selling. <laughs> no, the tumbler. the tumbler. I'm the same color as the tumbler. Oh, the pieces go hey. over the drawn lines. Yeah, Dang. get rid of that. We can't tell where pieces go. Hey, get rid what of What do you this. mean? I happily you. outlined your jawline for you. Thank you. <laughs> your beard your beard line. God, I wish. If I could grow a beard. It would be game over. For everybody. <laughs> For everybody. <laughs> For myself. Got it. I love You're, like that that's like, your final form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the pictures um of uh like dwarven women, like fantasy dwarven women with like big braided beards and shit. I love that. I totally do that shit. Yeah, you are into, like, the buff anime girls. I am. That's also true. And that is not my body type whatsoever. So here we are. So it's what, it's what you wish you could be. You yeah. wish you could be... Who's that girl from, um... Uh, uh... Oh, God. Midor Doro. Hey, Doro. Uh, from Seven Deadly Sins. Oh! I don't remember anything about Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> the big giant girl. Oh. No, did you did you watch Doro Hey Doro? Mm. You should, it's great. I wanna be Noi from Doro Hey Doro, but it's not that's not how I was built. So instead I just admire buff ladies from afar. <laughs> Yeah, gotcha. Okay, I'll watch that. Sure. It's great. Have we talked about Overlord and how much I love it? Oh, Overlord's great. There's a um. Did you do you ever do Picross? No. There's an Overlord Picross game on Switch if you ever needed something to sink time into. <laughs> answering it's okay wish is dming dodger coffee on twitter right now really Woo! we did it yay wow it gets so colorful good job everybody yeah it's determined by whatever color the name is it shows where your pieces are Oh, so I'm being called out for having done four or five pieces, maybe? <laughs> to be seven. fair, you were, you were very busy putting a unibrow on me, so like, well, I, get, I, doing, I get it. I was doing the important stuff. Who was orange? Dang. 
Oh, that's you. Who was Orin? <laughs> 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 Flips hair. Who was orange? Oh, wow. Um, what are these? Uh, are these? Is this? Is the number ping? Huh? Yeah, it must be our pings. The numbers next to our names. Um. Okay. I am going to go pee. Bye. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I'll, right. I'll mute you and whatever else, and then, uh, we can both take a break. I'll, I'll share all of your secrets while you're gone. Oh, do you want to stay on? No, I'll go pee too. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Chat will be our B.
Hello. Uh, hey. What up? Oh, just another day in paradise. <laughs> just kicking it like huge. Um, hold on, let me respond to a thing super fast. Hi, chat. Sorry about that. Was talking with my husband. Um. How is your husband? Uh... He's good. He's cute. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he did. Um. <laughs> He did a run for the first time in a while yesterday yeah. and is just wiped today. <laughs> he was like, Aww. I'm gonna I'm gonna run every day and did a run yesterday and he he did really well, to be honest, but you know, when you haven't been running for a long time, it takes it out of you, man. You just wanna go well, to isn't bed. Isn't it isn't it insanely hot there too right now? No, not anymore. Okay. It, it was a few days ago, but like we have like two really hot days and then um, like two okay days, typically. Hi everybody. Okay, let's set up another server. Um, what should it be this time? Okay. Create. What should we do a picture of this time, chat? Well, here's the sweet shop Something not tan colored. That's fair. That's fair. What sort of things have we talked about today? Nice shirt. I have one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a good shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. Do you run with Sam? I am a... Um, I exercise better when I am able to distract myself from realizing that I am exercising. So, for example, if I'm going to do cardio, I'll do dance. I'm not going to do well running. <laughs> A bunch of people in Sam's family right now are doing the couch to 5K thing. And they're like, it's so good. I, I just feel like I'm going to die <laughs> just like a, like a minute into trying to run. Hobbits are not runners. I'll just use that excuse in the future. Um, let's see. What should we do a picture of? What should we do a picture of? A picture of? A picture of? What should we do um, a picture of so early in the morning? <laughs> uh, I have only bad ideas. Like what? Give me a bad idea. Well, <laughs> the other day... Yeah. I realized that I, yes. I still have um, a deck from Maker Studios from way, way back when, before we started the game station, or right as we were starting it. Okay. And it, first of all, it has the old TGS logo in it, which okay. is what I thought of, because that's the bad idea. Right. But it also has, like, um, it has, like, goal, get to 200 million views per month in the gaming group. Which was like, you know, that's like a, one big YouTube channel today. Right. But back in the day, that was like more than everyone crazy combined. amount. Yeah. <laughs> I just found it like so funny how like weird it is. It is wild, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and like, oh, I found this super old, gross Baker deck. It's so <laughs> bad. It has like Casim G, like doing California oh on. Oh, Casim. Whoa. Yeah. 
Yeah. Maker, 15 million subscribers. <laughs> it was just like, wow, that was our whole company at one point. I know, that's so wild. What comes up if I search this? Oh. Hmm. Oh yeah, all the Polaris branding when we first started. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was always so against that. Yeah, I think we both made it pretty clear how we felt about it. <laughs> Here's the tea chat. David and I yeah. don't really like the rebrand. Oh, oh good. It's so pointless. Like, yeah. uh, it, the game station was going fine. It was going great. And people were like, we need to change the name and the brand. I'm like, for what reason? Mm. And then it was just so generic. Polaris. Yeah. To this day, Chad Quant will go on the, the Polaris subreddit, which still exists. And yep. when people are like... Yeah, when people go on there being like, hey, my my snow shit doesn't work. He's like, wrong Polaris. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's to this day goes in there and redirects people. It's just like, that's how dedicated. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I feel like the, the rebrand, like, kind of took away so much of of the vibe and the voice we had spent years like creating yeah it was just Dude, weird. sometimes i think about like do i just call the person over at disney and ask them if i can have the game station like do <laughs> i or like i'll just offer to buy it for like super cheap right just so like it just feels so wrong that that's where it ended up yeah and like they're not doing anything with it it's true it's just it's there. Chad. It's in all its glory. <laughs> What's Chad up to now? Uh, writing for shows, I think. Yeah, he, yeah, he he make he helped make a. Uh... What What's the Arcadia one? Um, yeah, Troll Hunter. Troll Hunter. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. He was a yeah. he was a writer on that. Like, yeah, the... it seems like when Guillermo del Toro's involved, Chad's, like, around. <laughs> yeah. Um, the one that I've wanted to try and, like, get confirmation that I can use is Friend Zone, Because you know they're not doing anything with that. Like, the show? Yeah. Just to be able to, like, if I wanted to make my own Friend Zone show. I don't think that they would come after me anyway. But no, definitely not. They would not come after you. <laughs> Dude. No. <laughs> they, they don't, I don't, I don't want to go into like how they handle things like, but definitely not. <laughs> I created their copyright enforcement for the first time ever on YouTube. I right. definitely, they would not come after you. Got it. Oh my gosh, it's been seven years since something was uploaded there? On TGS? Yeah, that makes six sense. years. Pacific Rim, remember that? Pacific Rim was so fun! What's our plan? What are we doing? I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at friend zone pictures now. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's a picture from Friend Zone that we could use because <laughs> they're very colorful. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could always use the one that um, got Aaron on on Wikifeet. <laughs> <laughs> or we could avoid that one like the plague. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Let's see. Either way. 
This one has Chad in it. We were just talking about him. And Danica's in this one. Let's see, what's this one? <laughs> oh, that's a GIF? Oh, that's weird. Ooh, I don't like that. Wait, who's in this one? Who is this? Wild. Open image, let's see. Sure, we'll go with this. I'm excited. I'm gonna definitely help more on this one. It's a GIF. What? What do you mean it's a GIF? It's not moving. Unreal. Whoa, what if you could have GIFs though? Whoa. And like the puzzle pieces would change. Oh my God, there's fan art. There's Polaris, there's friend zone fan art. Um, amazing, we're gonna use this. Shout out to Chronostar on DeviantArt. <laughs> So good. Okay. A lot of people did fan art for friend zone. I actually forgot about that. It's pretty wild. Okay, I've invited you. Okay, Doc. I'm coming. Let's see. Um, chat, I am putting in what is the username and password for it. David, let me know when you need it. Oh, I need the password. It's eyeballs. Oh no. Wait. And if eyeballs doesn't work, it's eyeball. <laughs> I don't remember. It is with an S. Okay, it is eyeballs. Ha ha. Remember, if you played last time, aside from David, if you played last time, please let other people play. This is so colorful. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. Oh, these orange and blacks are going to be. Oopsies. Yeah. That's the picture. I put it in chat if anybody wants to make it bigger. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have two slots left if anybody wants to play. Oh shit, I touched one. <gasps> I started the timer. That's okay. Did I start over? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't okay. we don't pay attention to the timer or the pieces or anything like that. It's tabletop simulator. The server is eyeballs. The password is eyeballs. <laughs> there is a URL in the bottom of this image. It's I know. Gonna make it's gonna yeah. make that bottom fly by. Yeah. The mood is the eyeballs? Exactly. Okay, if somebody played last time and they would like to join, feel free, because we still got a slot. Remember to change your rotation degrees to 90 degrees, guys. <laughs> what? what in the world? What? What? There's a there's a button on the table and I pushed it and an iPad popped out. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, Why? So that if you're playing a game and you want to search up like if you want to search for the rules or something, you can. Okay, full full group. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. 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 Okay. Edge pieces. Edge pieces. 
It looks like there's a white border around, oops, a lot of the edges, so that'll make that nice. Ali's Kigurumi was always so weird. I actually forgot about that. edge piece missing. I think. Oh, someone found it. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, my bad. Okay. together that probably makes more sense what is this red thing oh it's my hair <laughs> So that'll go somewhere in there.
Oh, guys, remember when my hair looked like that? What a pain in the ass that was. People to this day are like, when are you going to do your hair that way again? Never. <gasps> never, ever, never, never again. It was never, such a it again. was such a pain in the butt. All right, well, you do you. <laughs> what was hard about it? Like getting it that way or maintaining it? Maintaining it. Yeah. Like anytime I like dyeing it sucked as well but like if because in order to get it to that shade you have to just strip everything out of it um if any dye yeah. at all touches it it just gets instantly absorbed so you i could go to like all the trouble to try and do that really well and then if i fuck up washing it once suddenly the white parts are like pink right <laughs> it's just uh, it's just annoying it's just annoying yeah no, I'd be out. Fuck that. I'll dye my hair again. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, this specific thing that I did for a while. Um, it was Too much very, effort. It was very fun, but, like, yeah, at this point now, it's just not... It's not, it's not worth the effort to do that anymore for me. Oh, this is Chad's hair. I see. That's his beard. Right. Right. It's all coming together. Right. Got it. Yeah, you take that. I don't know what to do with that shit. So you go ahead.
Yo, there's still 1,700 of you here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I hope you're having a good day, taking care of yourselves. Enjoying some puzzies. He's a human being, chat. What? In this song, it's just a guy going, I am a human being, over and over, so I'm swapping it to a different song. Well, at least he knows. He's a human being. When you guys came uh, to England for our wedding, did you get to, like, do much out here? Not really. I mean, we took, like, two days to go to London. Mm. So, you know, we got, like, Kaylee in front of Buckingham Palace just chilling. <laughs> and we walked. I mean, we saw it. Yeah. But it was, like, it was quick. Right. Which is why we want to come back. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, it, what, um... Do you have like a list at all in your mind of things that you would like to do that you didn't get to do? Uh, but, well, you know, England is so culturally poor that there's not a lot to do there. <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> right. So, I mean, how could it be that long of a list? But right. No, we haven't That's fair. it yet. Yeah. The farthest we've gotten is like, we should make a list of things we want to accomplish in our third. Right. We're like, okay, and then so like we're on the same page. Okay, we're making that list, and we're definitely putting go visit Broken Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. Well, because I was like, a bucket list for when you die is like, ugh exhausting i can't think that far ahead <laughs> yeah and that's no fun oh uh, yeah and then i have to be like oh i'm gonna be all old and gross one day it's gonna be horrible just like i'll, I'll just think about the this 30 years sure i think that's fair have it not be a bucket yeah. list but like a in the next decade what would i like to do yeah yeah it's like a goal list for our 30s yeah I why like not that. i think that's cute Yeah, I feel like Sam and I haven't, we got like kind of burnt out on traveling with like long distance and doing conventions a lot. And I think the both of us were like, uh, kind of like don't want to go anywhere for a while. And we've now like started to come out of that into this, into this point now of, oh, it would be, we should make a list of like places we want to go. Um, Dude, I, I was like, because I'm going to have to come to England also for the top of the morning stuff. Right, yeah. So I was like, Aaron, maybe we can, like, make that, like, a part work, part, you know, family trip. Yeah. And I was like, would you want to fly, like, one direction together and then, like, the other direction, like, you guys can leave and I can just do the work stuff? And she's like, uh, That's, nah. That flight would <laughs> suck she's like, on your she's own. Like, She's like, you just take this one. And I was like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Yeah. She's at I least would... gotten to the point where she's like not wanting to go on every trip. Yeah. Um, I've definitely done that flight enough with Clark that I know I do not want to do that flight by myself. <laughs> it sucks. And Clark's like, like not that fussy and it still sucks. <laughs> I understand. It's just rough. Sure. They wanna they wanna do stuff and you're like, sorry, you have to stay here for hours. Hours and hours and hours. And you're like, but I don't want to. And you're like, I I don't want to either. <laughs> um, the life changing thing for us has been uh on Air New Zealand they basically have a type of seat that you can get that is three seats all together and the bottom like flips up so the whole thing kind of turns into like a big bed sort of thing whoa that's been pretty life-changing because you don't have to flip up the whole thing so we can just flip up two sections and then clark can kind of like move around and play and do things and she doesn't have to be like in a seat um and she can sleep and everything so we That's do it? very nice. Nearly. They working on it. <laughs> Woo! Well done, guys. Yay. Yay. Want to do um, one more? Yeah. Let's do one more, guys. Hmm. Now we have to come up with another thing. Yeah, Chrono Star on Deviant Art made that. Shout out to them. Oh yeah, do you have like the file for, oh I guess I could find it on Twitter. The print that Nick did. Yeah, of course. Uh, what's the, I'll just send it to you on Discord? Sure. Okay. From here. Hi John, how are you dude? Yeah, I'm I uh I took off the display capture while he's looking for it and then sending it so that Yeah. There she blows. Perfect. It's so cute. of the Brunian. <laughs> That's funny. I do hate, the only thing about Jigsaw Battles that I hate is that it's set to a specific aspect ratio. So it just squishes every picture, but it's fine. Okay, uh, I'm not making a new server. It's the same as before. So if you didn't play in the last one and you want to join this one, even if you were in the first one, Dude, this one is going to be so obnoxious. Because <laughs> of, like, the checkerboard stuff and all that? <laughs> yeah, and the giant sun. It'll be fine. Password, server and password is eyeballs. Get in here. Oh, my gosh. And look at how many edge pieces are pure white. <laughs> That's fine. It's, it's fine. It's going to be. It's okay. It's, gonna be... it's fine. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Again, if you were in the first one 
and you would like to join again, you can. This is a um, this is a design for a print that Nickterhorst did for us that is available in the marketplace. It's me holding a cold brew. Still got slots open. Literally anybody. Doesn't matter if you played in the first game or the second game. Literally anybody who wants to join. Feel freezy. Get in here. Feel freezy, lemon squeezy. Feel freezy, lemon squeezy. What is time for real? All right, we're full. Let's do it. Woo! Oh boy. Yeah, I've definitely like, <laughs> I've definitely uh, made everyone do puzzles where they're like, so many of these pieces are the same color, Dodger, and I'm like, well, it's too late to go back now, so we're doing it. <laughs> Um, well, the the other funny thing is like, how do I know for sure if it locked it into place <laughs> when I drop a corner white piece in the corner? You just have to try to move it again. I know, I know. Also, it so should make a literally take it should make a dink noise when it's in the right spot. That's the other indicator. Okie dokie, artichokey. So this one will be... This will be down here somewhere. Right there. And that. Um, nice. Great. What? <laughs> just looking at all of these edge pieces with a little bit of turquoise. <laughs> it's just like... Oh, uh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, and that one goes up here somewhere. There we go. Oh, this is her shoe. Her shoe? You in the third person? Yeah. I always exist in the third person. Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks for rolling with that. Oh my gosh, zooming in helps so much. Zooming in does? Yeah, wow. I've been trying to do this from super zoomed out. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Oops. Uh, 
Oh, uh, this goes here. Oops. There we go. See, it's fine. Everything's fine. Easy peasy. Y'all are pros. Y'all are pros. No worries whatsoever. <laughs> this looks kind of like a Kermit mouth. Like it's gonna sip some tea and side eye me. What does David's shirt say? It says, boys support girls. It's a very cute shirt. It started off with a girls support girls shirt. And then like the company that made it was like, why can't boys support girls? And they're like, fine, here, have this shirt. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'll buy that. <laughs> Great, thank you. I like it, it's a very cute shirt. But they closed down. Aw. Oh, that's not in the right spot, that's why. There we go. Um, if you guys have not looked at Nick's work before, he's very talented and shows up for our streams all the time and is like a super supportive friend. So check out her work. She does teaching and tattoos and all kinds of stuff. A jack of many trades. When I first saw her art style, I like instantly pictured what I thought would work and she said the exact same thing that's amazing <laughs> and this and then this was born like <laughs> very quickly after
Hope you're well today. Thank you. Same to you. Yeah, we're doing good. Just announced some coffee store stuff. Now we're doing puzzles with uh, our lovely community. Having a good day. Why are you so good at puzzles? What is happening? I just really like them. It's been exacerbated since lockdown as well. Um, we got Clark like age appropriate puzzles for her to do because she kept asking to do my puzzles. And I was like, well, and you're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we got her like a bunch of puzzles and she loves them and she crushes them. But now it's almost like she's done them too many times and she's bored. So now we've circled back around to, do you want to do a puzzle? I want to do mummy puzzle. I'm like, uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm so glad you have an interest in puzzles, but I don't want to lose pieces. So we've been, we've been, uh, Trying to teach her, like, yes, you can do a mommy puzzle, but if you're gonna pick up a piece, you have to put it back, and you don't pick up a piece off of the mat because it's already where it's supposed to be. And she's like, okay about it, but you know, not perfect. You've, cre you've created a monster. I've created a monster, is what happened, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> fine it is it's fine so like you know so much of of parenting is them getting to a stage and you being like this is gonna be such a pain in the ass but then like they learn and you're like that's great i'm so glad that i took the time to like get through this with you instead of just being like no don't do that i don't want to bother with this right now <laughs> so it's fine every stage is a pain in the ass it's true but they're so fun. But they're so cute, though. They are. They're so fun <laughs> and so cute. I know. So here we are. <laughs> Looking like fools. Has it felt different? Like, oh, I'm sure it has. Because it's a totally different kid, etc. But, like, did you feel more prepared having Elliot? Like, did, uh, did, it, did well, it feel totally different, or? We didn't, we didn't, like, okay, so first-time parents all do the same thing. They all go out, they buy way too much shit. <laughs> right. You know, they're, like, all freaking out, gotta get this thing perfectly set up. And then, like, when Elliot was coming, it was like, eh. <laughs> you know, we're fine, we're good. Yeah. So it was much less prep work, I'd say. Hmm. But no, he's cool. He's like becoming cool. his own thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely I think it it's almost impossible for you to not fall into the trap the first time of like, I have to get everything. No matter how many people are like, you don't need all this stuff. You're like, but but what if I do? <laughs> well yeah, you you don't wanna like you don't wanna like fuck it up. Under prepare, yeah. Yeah. Yes. What am I holding? I think that goes here, maybe? I think it's your neck. You're holding my neck? I got you by the neck. Yeah. Yikes! Boom. There we go. Oh, no one wanted to do just the giant swath of orange? Not okay. yet. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay. Move all the checkered pieces together. 
Oops. Oh, that's in the wrong spot! Oh my god. Wait. This piece. Oh my god. Alrighty. Well, I guess let's just start trying shit, huh? That's what I'm doing. Where's the last cold brew piece of the cap? That's weird. Oh, I don't know. It might not like really show up well on the piece. So it's, it's like... on the edge. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Boop. Sick. I think that's whoever's blue. I think you have the only one that's this shape. That's ah, me! Yeah, plop it. Bam! Sweet. Tweet. I did it. Nice. Oh, no, nope, that's wrong. Ooh, there we nice. go. I'm so intently looking. Oh my god. This one. I did Woo! it. Woo! Yay! Congrats, I guys. I improved, well done. I improved every time, I think. Oh. Megzi, you did amazing. Yeah, you almost had some competition. There. Megzi and I were neck and neck. <laughs> cool. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody for hanging out with us today. Um, I think real quick we'll like David, is your is your cam busted or do you want to bring it back up for the end here? Oh, did it not come back up? No. Wait, it, it's up for me. It's just your, it's just your, um, Akira logo for me. Turn off camera. Turn on camera. How weird. Dude, dude, dude. dude. I'll call you back. Okay. Am I back? You are back, but the picture still isn't there. What? It's weird. Well. That's okay. You, can just, you yeah. guys can just hear his dulcet voice. Um, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. We're going to do a, a recap of what our announcements were. Um, we have two new things in the store. Uh, first off is um, our Quirksicle Dodger Coffee Tumbler. Um, it's very high quality. It's lovely. Sam's obsessed with them because they keep his water like really cold for a very long time. It keeps stuff hot for a very long time, um, and they last forever. So we're very happy to have that in the store now. And it's in very nice color. And the other thing is our candles. So we have two different candles, sage and cinnamon as well as campfire. They are both like kind of um, like spicy, earthy smelling. I love them. They're fantastic. Uh, they're big soy candles, two wick. They come with matches. Um, we're in love with them. It was very hard to keep two of them intact so that we could do this announcement instead of burning them. <laughs> so now I can go burn them. 
uh, as always, you know, we've got we've got the coffee, um, whole or ground. We've got our cold brew, our teas, our honey. We've got the marketplace. We hope that you'll check all of that out. Um, we have a code, a discount code for anybody who tuned into the stream today. Um, stream five with a capital S, S T R E A M five, the number five, all one word. If you want to put that in at checkout, get a little discount. And, um, yeah, we just wanted to say thank you very much. Thank we had so many people hanging out today, hearing us talk about the company and all the stuff that we're doing. And, um, yeah, very, I'm very proud of David. He's been working so hard and doing so Aww. much and um i'm delighted to have him as a as a partner in this whole thing it's incredible so yeah thank you all very much for hanging out with us and watching today we hope that you'll check out the store um or you know spread our stuff on social media if you can like all of that stuff helps us just new eyeballs mean a lot for us so yeah thank you guys is there anything thank else that you, you want to say david before i i uh and the call and read off all the new subs and stuff. No, I think that's it. That's good. Great. Well, thank you so much, David. Thank you. I hope you have and an amazing day. Yeah, hug hug okay. your family for us. Okay, I will. Okay. Mwah. Bye bye. Mwah. Bye. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there today. I know it's a little early, um, but I have a, a meeting that I have to be on anyway, so it's kind of working out this way. Um, tomorrow we've got our our two streams, our normal stream, and then an evening stream with Tiri. So hopefully I'll see you guys for that. And um, Wednesday we might do a little extra stream before Strange Roads. So planning for that uh yeah we'll sh we'll ship anywhere it's it just has to do with like what the shipping costs are and as we were saying before um we might be having better international shipping soon here fingers crossed keep us in your thoughts uh okay pajama mat thank you so much for the 39 months our mutt for the 29 dawn seeker for the 62 svensonitis for the 41 agk tv thank you for the two shadow wing dragon for the 13 kitty megatron for the four self-care best care for the 18 mr squishy for the four mikomi for the two sin is merit for the three years happy anniversary raging pixel thank you for the four years happy anniversary both of you thank you so much for the support bell Sardin, thank you for the 19 too much coffee painting for the 13 winter blizz for the 52 base trade for the eight corvus imperial for the 44 gretzen blue for the three dark themsby for the 68 teviston for the 43 shiny espers for the nine happy twitch baby it's presto thank you for the 27 tactical luke for the 38 Zach Jackal, thank you very much for the biddies. Dwake for the 16. Gaming Drummer for the 2. Alice Goose for the 16. Raspberry Knight for the 45. Weirwood for the 21. Shiren for the 56. Arnar, thank you for gifting six months to Moeka. It's very generous. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you, Arnar. Moeka, thank you for the 20 months. Uh, Miss Cupcakey, thank you for the 15. Kibber for the 64. Unspeakable for the 56. Lobster for the 4. Thusmas for the three years. Happy anniversary. David for the 38. Uh, VO5100. Thank you for the four. Kasara for the 57. Um, I, Johnny Mac. Thank you for the 16. Uh, I ordered cookie shots and I never got them. Um, definitely contact uh, the Dodger Coffee um, like Twitter. Um, and you sh should be pointed in the right direction of like who to talk to to figure out what happened with that. Yeah. Um, introspection, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the Cat Gang, Lostopia. Thank you for the four. Do Nico, thank you for the nine. Happy Twitch baby. Kaylee Nicole for the sixty. Happy five years. Thank you so much, Nicole. Majin Kyle, thank you for the seventy-four. Mister Lurker for the twenty-three. Lord Cucumber for the biddies. Broken Plaything for the forty-nine. And Daryl Biggums for the four years. Happy anniversary. Insane, insane indeed. Thank you so much, Monkey Buddha. At the beginning of the stream, said to Davy, David, make the castle in the background. <laughs> He gave you a castle tour. Anybody who wasn't here for the beginning. Rosa said, I love the candles. If there's ever a scent with eucalyptus, I will buy so many. Good to know. Wizardy Sloth says, Dodger Coffee is so dreamy. Thank you. And PG Wipeout says, for Duke's brother, who sings a song about being small. <laughs> um, thank you all very much. We have a couple of subscriptions to give out as well from Channel Points. 
Um, we have two random subs to give out. So here we go. One of them is from Niall Bear, N-A-Y-E-L Bear. 30 minutes ago redeemed this. They said, been racking up channel points to give someone a sub. I won't be able to rep 640 gang for a while. Thank you very much. It's very sweet. So here is a random sub from Niall Bear. Perfect. And here is another random sub from Amaria and our lovely mod for a random lovely burrito. Done. Ba -ba 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 Bam. Great. So Mo F H and who is the other one? Blangford, both of you, welcome to the cat gang. Um, and thank you, Broken Plaything, for the gifted subs at the end here as well. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, yeah, you're all lovely. Zoe and Binary says, I love you all. I love you all. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Um, and that's it, I guess. Oh, let's open up Raid Leader. Does anybody have a, a person that they would like to raid? With all this wholesome, sweet energy. <laughs> I hope the candles do gangbusters. Me too. They're good. Judy Kiri. Good suggestion. All righty. Arcelbo has, I think there's one more gift sub from Midwinter Lily. Uh, I already did mid Midwinter Lilies a while back. I think, there's nothing new in here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll double check. I'll double check that it went through in case it in case it didn't work. Um Okay, yes, we're gonna go say hi to 2D Kiri. Take care of yourselves, we'll see you next time. And thank you all. Again, like seriously, this this whole like coffee business, we hoped we hoped, we dreamed that it would do as well as it has. And um, you guys have been so incredibly supportive and wonderful and uh, and we're very lucky to have you. So on to the, on to the next thing. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye-bye.